All right, guys, we got some big news for you shiny hunters out there. Yeah, I said it. Uh, Pokemon has updated their website with actual stats and odds of actually catching Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Shinies and brilliant Pokemon. So brilliant Pokemon, as they term it, are the ones with a glowing aura around it, which have egg moves and give you watts when you catch or defeat them and so on. And now the more you catch Pokemon, the more likely you are to find a shiny and they give you exactly the figures right here so here we go an article on the pokemon website official so talking about shiny pokemon and gigantamax pokemon and what the important stuff here is here it's a little bit of waffle just a little bit of an intro into the types of pokemon here so here we have a brilliant pokemon with a glowing yellow aura around it so here's the effect on shinies let's just get straight to it right one brilliant Pokemon may appear if you catch at least one, okay, or have a battle of one. Twen if you catch 20 of a type of Pokemon, brilliant Pokemon have 1.3 times likely to appear. So keep in mind, these are brilliant types, okay, they're the ones with egg moves, higher level, you get more experience, you get watts. Now if you catch at least 50 of this type, of the same Pokemon, brilliant Pokemon have 1.6 times and shiny Pokemon have 2 times likeliness of appearing after 50 twice the odds. After a hundred, shiny go up to three times. Brilliant or two times. After two hundred, shinies are four times. After three hundred, five times. And after five hundred, guys, that's beating or catching. It doesn't matter. It goes up to six times chance of getting a shiny. And the key, the cherry on top, guys, the brilliant cherry on top to all of this the best part of it they don't have to be consecutive they don't you could do them in any order for any pokemon you can just catch defeat everything you see and as your odds go up or as you catch more and more or defeat more and more of those pokemon your odds go up for all of those pokemon as you will you don't need to find these Pokemon consecutively, consecutively, and you can see how many times you've encountered a species by checking your Pokedex. I think most of you know the second part, but now we know you don't have to be consecutive. That's huge news. That is massive. So obviously after 100, Brilliant is capped out. After 500, Shinies are capped out. But six times, guys, after 500 Pokemon, you just have to, you just have to kill. You just have to defeat them or catch them at your choice. So here's the odds for fishing for brilliant Pokemon. I'm sure you guys aren't really that interested in brilliant, but this is it anyway. <laughs> I mean, it might be a good way to farm Watts, if that's something you're into. Now for max raid battles, guys. Uh, one thing in the max raid battles, it seems to suggest that you're only able to fight five star max raid battle Gigantamax Pokemon after you've earned a Dragon Badge. I'm not sure if that's confirmed exactly but it seems to allude, allude to that and wild weather guys as we know with wild weather uh, different kinds of weather change the types of spawns that's no secret there and if you're interested in changing and controlling the weather I have a video for that I'll think about leaving it in the at the end of the video on the uh, little windows for you guys you can see how you can control the weather any weather of your choosing anytime and day and night you can choose that too so that's it guys, I think that article is pretty useful, especially for the shiny rates, finally getting an official announcement for that stuff. Hopefully that helps you guys as well, it's going to help me. And uh, if it did, don't forget to stick around, drop a sub, I do make a lot of Pokemon content that's very useful for you guys. So I wouldn't mind you guys checking that out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye!